we're back with this, or Life is Strange. Hello, welcome to Cinelab Gaming. I am Michael slash Cinelab. Now, we're going to pick up right where we left off, and I'm going to see what happens whenever I rewind. Go, 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 go. Rewind, 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 and see what happens when I pick a different way. There we go. Keep rewinding. Oh, shit. Okay. Wait, wait, what happened? Did I go back too far? What the hell just happened? Oh, okay. I thought. So right. don't think Never I'm mind. Don't worry about it. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm wait. saying? No, and leave me alone. Okay, intervene. I saw the uh, the dialogue hey, for. Why don't you leave her alone? Excuse hold us. On. This is a Sorry, campus on. One business. Second. Excuse me. You shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey. Nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. Oh yeah. You're part of the problem, you're being an asshole. I will remember this conversation. Am I really? And what is the problem, Sir E? Sir E. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. You. Anytime, I Kate. Exactly. Oh, that's Kate. Okay. Cool. Kate. I felt like an it's everyday hero helping okay. Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? So either way, I okay. I'm gonna from now on I'm gonna go with my gut feeling because I think either way I go with regardless of which choice I make, no matter which like sequence of events it is, something is gonna happen where she's like Maybe I shouldn't have done that. She's gonna second de second guess yourself every time. I think. So from now on, I'm just gonna go with my gut feeling and see where it takes me. Yeah, but how was I saying? I think in the last uh, the last bit, whenever I did that again, I saw the uh, the dialogue from the football guy and the the goth looking girl. I saw that going overhead. So I think maybe it took away that sequence. I don't know. Hello, squirrel, you're so cute. And now you're gone. Story of my life. Oh, that's right, we're going for this guy, Warren. I'm glad I stepped right, in that walked. time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Same. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Poor Samuel. Samuel's oh, voice made me so sad. Please. I'm heading there. What Jesus up, Max? Christ. How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Ooh, rejected. He's Check trying to play it off, too. He's just like, cool. yep, no Very problem. Old school. Mm -hmm. 1978, to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong He likes her. Line. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. She wants to take a photo, but I'm not going to do it. I don't want to talk about it. Jeez, okay. you're a little miss sensitive today. I wouldn't push your luck, Warren. Not in the mood today. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Movie booty? Uh, yeah. Yeah, thanks. I did. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. Was excellent. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound really? better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No, thank you. That is not seen it. Um, seen it. Seen it. I was more I disturbed it. by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? Oh, so you're Twilight. Sensitive. Love Ouch, them. that sounds awful the way you say it. Uh, not at not all. At not all. all. Sensitive is good. Unless you're a pushover. You have hip taste and a quick mind. Thanks for noticing, Max. Taste. The right girl will, too. If I was lucky. Oh. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Mm, I need, to, I need, I need to, talk. to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. 
What are Tell me bets? everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I wonder if she's actually going to tell him or... Life-changing. We'll see. I think a lot. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Here we go. one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? Ah, I'm one of the students. You. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. How about you back the fuck Answer off? me, bitch. Whoa, I told him the I'll truth. You. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You're fucking crazy, you dude. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Yeah. Do not analyze I'd me. I say so. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself. And is it working? Are you okay? Hmm. I could call Turn the him. police. Do it. The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude. Oh, hey, oh, oh. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the no. bathroom. <gasps> Fuck him up. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go, go, oh, no, I got this. Get in, Max! Fuck is this so? Oh yeah! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! What are you punk asses? There's no way I can walk to the town. Man, I'm getting hyped up. Nathan I love Prescott this. This is a good story. Up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. <laughs> After five years, you're no still problem. Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind well, of day. Well, considering you just saved her life. So what did that freak want with you? That is the same girl, right? Wait, no. No, it's not. Who am I thinking of? Um... I, know I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Hello. Your friend really stood up for you. What does he tell me from? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Oh, wait, wait. Um, no. no, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Wait oh, she's pictures. the girl with the BFF in the photo. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Mm. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years. I just realized how fresh of a line that was. Give me a break. I was going through changes. Like you. I guess those changes included dumping me from your life. Ooh. That's not true, Chloe. Bullshit. You thought you hook up with all these art pricks in Seattle. Didn't happen, though. You're merciless. Okay, this got mad fast. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Actually, she does use sad excuses on Max. As I duly noted in my playthrough. <clears throat> this is such a cinematic feel to it. I really do love that. Ah, uh, look at old Polaroid. Man, are you serious? That is brutal. Wow, haven't heard that one. Are you serious? Not everything changes. I say that all Except the time. My Dude, are you serious right now? Taking a shit. I'm super serious. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very to specific that. tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage, and he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. <laughs> 
This game is pretty clever writing. I love that. It's cool. The beautiful homie got there. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. Look at that shadow effect right there. On the house right there. Come on in. Don't be shy. Oh, I am the house shy. Still looks What's good to do? Nice. Home shit home. Home shit home. That's a great house. God, my trailer could fit in that one like garage area. World to or hold to another universe. Look at that up there in the uh, the top left hand corner. It says hold to another universe. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close Except the door. Fewer. Nice. Put on some music while I medicate. While you medicate? Excuse me? Are you doing drugs over there, ma'am? You are. For sh Kids do not do drugs. Ridiculous. Where, where's the music at? She right looks here? super happy. Lovely. Awesome. Where's the... Where's your music at? And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Well, I mean, it serves me right. I don't go searching for stuff. Just find the music. It won't play without any power. Oh. Okay, what do I do about that? Oh, power strip right there. It's shown. Technology. I tell you. Now. Now let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. Uh, okay, where the CDs at? Where be the CDs? Oh, right. No. I wonder what Chloe keeps in here. It doesn't matter. I need to find the music. She told me to get the music. Where are the CDs? the desk down there. I'm trying to get like aim at the desk. It's hard to aim at things. It's weird. I don't know where her CDs are. May have found her CDs. I don't know. Oh, okay. I guess that was a CD, maybe. Arch hey, give me that! Look how Sorry. hard I am. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. Oh, wait, it was it the missing? Was it the Rachel girl, Rachel Amber? If so, that just made me extremely sad. That's Rachel Amber. Oh. Her missing person posters Damn are it. all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. And she talked. After my See, dad died, I knew you feel bad about that. I felt abandoned. I knew it. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. Would you would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. And do what? Okay, this what happened. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? It's getting interesting. My mom was too busy I mean, with was, but shit this more so. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Ah. Uh, and poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? I'm still curious like about what kind of story life. this is gonna be. My dad, you. I have no idea what this is gonna do. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Yeah, don't worry, I got you. I understand. Because, like, 
obviously there's time travel elements in this, but like, it doesn't seem very like much of a fantasy story. It's just a regular slice of life story, so I don't I don't know what's gonna happen in this story. I'm just so eager to see. Nice emo music. Put that away. You don't need that. You don't need a crutch to get over yourself, anyway, okay? Come on. You can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe. Are you teenagers. okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Well, okay. Alright, I'm gonna leave this episode of Th Life is Strange right here. And need I say, life is really strange. I'm so curious to see where this video is gonna go. But that is it for this video, guys. If you like it, give it a big thumbs up. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. If you have any other games you want me to check out, leave your ideas there as well, and I will definitely look into them. Remember to subscribe and share around with your friends. But that's it for this. <clears throat> until the next time. Until the next time, guys. Peace. And we're back. Welcome back to Cinema Game Night. Michael's not Cinema. We are.